Hello guys, welcome to this video on design pattern. In this video, we will be looking at the builder design pattern. The builder design pattern is a creational pattern that separates the construction of a complex object from its representation. And this pattern is useful when the construction of an object is complex and time consuming. Also, when we wanted to allow for different representation of the same objects. In this video, Let's consider this scenario. Suppose we have a pixel application that can make different data types based on the print provided. Now, let's move into our code and see how we can implement these objects using the builder design patterns. Now, in S code, the first thing we are going to do is to create the builder, the builder class. So, what the builder class does is this it's, it's, it's responsible for the creating. Of, of constructing those objects. So to do that, I'm going to start by creating a class called, let me just call this Pizza Builder. The name can be anything. Pizza Builder. And let's declare some variables in here. Let me call this cross. Type string. Let me assign it to an empty variable. An empty string. So sorry. Let me click on that variable. Let's call this source of type string. I'm going to assign it as well to an empty string. Then lastly, I'm going to declare another variable called toppings. This toppings is going to be an array of type string. And then I'm going to assign it to an empty array. Now, let's create a function that, that sets those this, this, these variables we, we've, we've created. So let me start with the first one. Set first. Call this cross. And then I just assign this to the variables to the parameter self dot cross. And in, in our application, this were this, so this the construction of this. Of this variable we are assigning to this uh, to this variable might be might be more complex than this. So, for example, we can have so many logic in here before we arrive here. Let's say we have like so many logic here. But but for brevity, we won't be doing that in this. So let me declare another variable. Let me call this text source. Fun set source okay, let me skip this. Let me just call this source of type string. And then let's also set this. Self dot source assigned to our parameter source. And lastly, let's also set the third variable, the top things which we have. The font. So I'm going to call it set toppings. I 
of core toppings of type string. And in this, we, have, we don't have any return type, so we'll take this out. And in our body, we just append to the to the tokens, which we have already need to call these tokens. Tokens dot append. Sorry, append. Remove the dot tokens. And finally, in this for this our builder class, we are going to have a build a build method as well, which is going to construct the object we are trying to create. So we can say so we have from build it's in the parameter, and it will return the object we are trying to construct. In this case, the object we have not created this. Product class was get data, but the name is pizza. So in this, I can just return pizza. And then we pass in some Parameters. We can say cross. We set to cross. We're going to define this 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 pass data. We can say source. We pass source. And lastly, tokens. We assign to token. Now we've completed our builder class, which is responsible for the construction of our objects. Now the next thing we're going to do is a director. The director is responsible for helping us to decide what type of objects we what the, the form in which our object will create by calling a method. I mean, so let's declare this class. Let's declare this director. I'm going to say func. Oh, sorry, it's a class. Let's just say class. I'll call this class pizza. Or the other pizza. So this is the class that we call that we create our uh, the type of the, the object for the kind of pizza we are creating for us. So let me call this font. Let's call this class order. I did this function, so, sorry, this method order. Take single parameter. And we turn the pizza as well from this. From this, I'm going to call our builder class and then set set the type of pizza. Set those variables which we declare using the using the method we create to set them. So for that, I'm going to say let builder be assigned to the builder which you have created, pizza builder. Pizza builder. Check the name. And now we can set those variables. I'll say builder set so 
درست Pepperoni. Let's just add some toppings. I'll just for this, I'll just need to add the mushroom. Do that. Just add toppings. For this mushroom. And then we can now return. Yuda that use the good metal which is in which construct those objects. Now lastly, to implement this metal, we are not going to create the product itself. What we are what what we are doing. The product we, we, we build in this, which is a pizza. So, class, let me just call this product. Okay, class. Let me call it variables. Wow. Toss. Toss. Sorry. Let me just call it cost. Of time string. Then var. Toss. Of time string. And lastly. Where nothing also of type string. Now let's initialize this class. Let's place an initializer in it. And then we have cross of type string. Source of type string and lastly toppings. Toppings of an array of string of type array of string. Interesting. So let's set these properties in in here. So can we sell dot plus assign to whatever we're passing in this class? Assign to plus sell dot source is assigned to source. Cell dot toppings sign to toppings so now we have completed the implementation using the builder pattern that is our zero order system which allows us to create different forms, different flavors of pizza. So now let's review this again. First thing we did was we created a builder. The builder is responsible for constructing those objects. And we have this, which, 
this is the channel, the channel space that we can want to create by, by the method. But inside this director, that the director dictates the kind of space that we will be creating. And the products, and lastly, we also declare the products itself, which we are creating in this. So now let's let's in, let's call this class. Let's say let's say I want to create a, a pizza, for example. I can say let's pizza order, which is the director. The other pizza. Director, so oh, sorry, let me just call this. Let me use this one to the old small card. Let me assign it to um, for the class. Wait, I start with the class. So now, to create a pizza, now, I just have to call that method on it. The other method inside this, I have to call it on, on this instance which was created. So let me just say other dot. So let's do this, so let's assign it in for let's pizza. We are assigned to pizza, other pizza. Thus, the method that for order. So now let's see now. We can print to the console the type of class, the type of components we have. I can say print. These are dot cross. Let's see what it so does. So what is what is give to us? Now we can see it works. So we've been able to create a pizza, a, a, a custom pizza from this pizza class, from the director class. Also, we can have different, we can have method here that manipulates this, this properties in any, in any form. And here we'll be able to create different, 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 different pizza from this, different flavors of custom pizza from it. So that's what this what example can get us to achieve. So in summary, the step we've taken in this path, we first create a builder class that's responsible for the construction of an object. The second step we take that we created a director class that coordinates the construction of an object by calling an appropriate method on the builder, which is that other method which we create in that other pizza. And then lastly, we created the object that is being constructed by the builder. So those are the two steps we've taken in order to implement the builder design pattern. So guys, this is the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. See you in the next video.